What do you make of where we are now, Dennis Skinner? Well, I think it's a surprise. I, uh, I never saw that he would get the kind of votes that he did get. I mean, they are real votes. We've had a system in the Labour Party where you couldn't really count the votes in the past. But this is enormous, and it's probably the biggest vote for any leader since the end of the Second World War. Has he offered you a job? No, I'm, uh, I've made it clear right from the beginning. I, I, did, I told Jim Callaghan way back in 76. He said, I'm going to have a reshuffle in the summer. I said, hey, Jim, I'll nominate my best friend here, Bob Cryer. So he actually gave Bob Cryer a job. And that's because that's you just don't believe in... I patrons. don't believe in patrons. Is, is there any elected. circumstance in which you would work for Jeremy Corbyn? Wait for him. I'm, I'm going to be an MP walking through the lobbies today against this vicious anti-trade union bill. Yes. You've said now this is an, an era, an age of non-spin, that spin is dead. So in that spirit, do you honestly think that you will be an MP under a fifth Labour Prime Minister, Jeremy Corbyn? I think it could well happen. I mean, I remember that uh, way back in 1945, nobody countenanced the idea that Clem Attlee would be a Prime Minister and that Churchill, who had seemingly won the war, according to the media, uh, would be defeated, but they had a majority of about 140. And they built the NHS, and they built council houses, and the unemployment at the end of five years was 2.2%. That was on a left-wing ticket. I look forward to the same result. Dennis Skinner, thanks very much indeed. Uh, in that breaking news, then, Dennis Skinner has said that he has not been approached for a job by Jeremy Corbyn and would not take a job by Jeremy Corbyn, a line that he has held consistently. No, I told um, <laughs> Jeremy Corbyn before. There you go. Uh, you can keep up to date with all the latest developments Don't and appointments over the already. BBC News website, including a guide to who's who in Jeremy Corbyn's new shadow cabinet, bbc.co.uk forward slash news. Seems I still have business to do right here on the green. Well, that was spinning. That was an example of spinning. Because you were trying to imply that I turned it down. No, that was a joke. Well, That's I think all it's it was. time it was a joke. that you got real and you understood that you're not working for Murdoch at the BBC, because you seem to be following the same pattern. Dennis Skinner, thanks for clarifying that.